Costa Rica. Here's the evidence. We are here. Oh, wow. Look, there's a monkey just there. <laughs> no way. There's so much wildlife in like such a small space that is just incredible. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 357 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. And we're here in the town of Kipos in Costa Rica. In this really comfortable air conditioned room with a little kitchen and a super comfortable bed. I think we had like the best sleep here. Oh, it was so nice, it was so nice. Yeah, after the night before's stay with these like two little fans and it was so hot. It was really nice to pretend that we aren't in somewhere that's incredibly hot. But we already went out this morning to put a couple of bits on the bike and oh my God. Sweating immediately. <laughs> I think it's like more than 30 degrees already and it's only like nine in the morning. But we have a super exciting day ahead of us today. I don't have a map of Costa Rica yet. We are gonna try and find one in the capital, but I can tell you that we are heading to the Manuel Antonio National Park. And this park is home to sloths and monkeys and all kinds of awesome animals. And it has an awesome beach and we can even swim in the ocean. Apparently this national park is so popular that we had to book us in online and our slot is reserved for 10 o'clock. It's already 9.30 and we still have to pack up a little bit, so better hit the road, let's go. Enter the oven. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm already sweating. <sighs> So it's about 20 minutes, it's only five miles over to the entrance to the national park and then we get to take off all our gear again yes. <laughs> and put our shorts and t-shirt on. Looking forward to that. Ah, oh, look the ocean! Oh wow! <gasps> oh, amazing! I had no idea that we were like right next to the ocean. Incredible. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah, Kipos looks like an absolutely beautiful place. Just like a tropical oceanside paradise. Yeah, it does, eh? Yeah, but we are here to see sloths <laughs> and monkeys. And the last monkeys that we saw were, oh, in Ecuador. Yeah. In the sanctuary. I can't, oh. <laughs> hey. Get off my mic. These microphones are very hard to get. But these will be the first wild monkeys that we'll be seeing. Sun. Here, really, Costa Rica is a paradise. I mean, look, you've got the ocean right there, and then look at the size of these trees. Wow, and just look at the, the amount of like vegetation here. It's beautiful, so dense. They have just a nice, dense forest. I mean, look ahead, like, look at that. <laughs> it's like a boom, explosion, absolutely incredible. So, this is Manuel Antonio. Look at this, the beach right off the street. So, we're just trying to find the closest parking we can find to the park and a secure place for bumblebee yeah i think it's probably yeah the park there or maybe even i mean what about this here? place don't know how far is this one now so the entrance is there okay the entrance is there so this would be the closest but it also it, doesn't look like it's really secure no that it's really secure let's, yeah. let, let's check out this place over there where there was somebody sitting okay Perfect. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Going. Wait, yeah. I have to put the stone on there, I think. Okay. Put like a. Yeah, I'm going to get a stone. Hold on. Okay. Ready? Okay, good. Yeah. 
Bye, Bumblebee. Yeah. See you guys. Yes. Find ourselves a parking, which is apparently 250 meters, according to this big sign from the park entrance. Yes! So excited! Monkeys, 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 monkeys. monkeys. And sloths as well. Oh, sloths, 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 sloths. We just had to eat our uh, crackers and our chocolate already because you're not allowed any rubbish here in the park. I think they are scared that people just leave the rubbish behind and littering. So it looks actually pretty straightforward. We are here. We're going around to number two. <laughs> And then here along the beach, number three, four, oh, five seems to be closed. Okay, oh. so we would skip number five skip and five. then go here to six, seven, nine. You don't want to go to eight? <laughs> nine, ten, and then back. Looks like they've got it all worked out. <laughs> We're in. We're on the trail. Let the wildlife watching begin. <laughs> So apparently this vine here is used by the animals basically as a ladder because look. A nature made ladder. It's our first bit of wildlife ahead. It's like a little deer and a baby. Oh, cool. We can see our first sloth up there in the tree. Look, 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 look. He's around there, look. Can you see him? It looks just like a giant ball of fluff. <laughs> can't see his face or anything we can just see like his butt anyway sloth butt to start our day beautiful we spotted a little iguana and you could just hear like the noise of the leaves it's just there We've arrived at the beach, and look at this. No, it's not a beach, it's paradise. Incredible. Anyway, we decided to do the walking trails first, see as much of the wildlife as possible, and then we'll come back for a swim later. We can see our first little muggy. He's just there. I think it's a white-faced capuchin. Look, 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 nice, look, 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 he's coming. <laughs> oh my god, he's caught himself a lizard and he's just like devouring it in front of everyone. <laughs> There is a very relaxed looking squirrel. Sloth number two! Yes. He is so high up in the tree and he's covered by uh, leaves as well, so really hard to spot. They're like 90% fluff and then there's just like this little face in there. So it's kind of hard to see, but He's up there, he's in the tree. Actually, sloths spend 
like literally most of their lives up in the tree, like right at the top. They're just really coming down when they've got to go poop. For some reason, they come all the way down, poop on the floor, and then go all the way back up into the tree. So unless you're lucky enough to catch a sloth pooping, then <laughs> this is the best view you'll get. <laughs> So we just got here to the cafe, but it's closed. But there is a giant iguana just here. Look at this. It's a beautiful animal. Look at that. It's beautiful, like colored spines on the back. Wow. Info time. So the Manuel Antonio National Park was opened in 1972 and at just under 2,000 hectares, it's actually the smallest national park in Costa Rica, but it receives 150,000 visitors a year. So it's incredibly popular, but it's popular for a good reason. Forbes listed it as one of the 12 most beautiful national parks in the world. And it's home to howler monkeys and squirrel monkeys and white faced monkeys and sloths, two species of sloths, apparently two toad sloths and three toad sloths, though from the vantage point we have, it's very hard to tell the difference. It's also home to caiman and crocodiles and iguanas and all kinds of little lizards. <gasps> We just heard some howler monkeys. <laughs> it's almost just like this sort of like ghostly echo through the forest. And the howler monkey actually has one of the loudest sounds that any animal can make. And it can be like heard for miles around in the forest. It's super impressive. Hey, like you. I <laughs> like me. Oh, listen, listen. I think we're getting closer to the howler monkey. Yes. <gasps> He's somewhere up in this tree right here. But this tree is so massive, it's really hard to see him. Yes, we are here, we're waiting for you. We just about saw him moving, but I couldn't focus the camera. There's too many branches in the way. <laughs> so my shot is terrible. But he's up there at the top of that tree and he's loud. Lost him. <laughs> we're coming to the last trail at the edge of the national park and it's starting to get hilly. <laughs> and it's very, very, very hot to be climbing hills. I can tell you that. My t-shirt is drenched. We'll be definitely ready for a swim after this. Well, on this last bit, we are really climbing a mountain. Jesus. Let's hope we get a nice view at the top. Here we go, top of the hill. Like the, the whole peninsula, yes. right? Nice. I just spotted this little toucan in the trees. Oh, he's flying away. We have an agouti in front of us. Look, he's eating a nice fruit. I know we just met this whole troop of monkeys and they're so incredibly cute. <sighs> That's the life, eh? That it's is a good the life. life. <laughs> I just want to lay on a branch and have you pick insects off my back. <laughs> back at the beach and now it is most definitely time to go for a little dip before we leave Manuel Antonio Park.
Anything in the Pacific in Costa Rica? None. Mmm. <laughs> we just got out the door and the first thing the woman's like, fresh coconuts, and we're like, yes, please. Costa Rica, here's the evidence, we are here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for looking after Bumblebee. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Perfect. Thank you. See you. Nice. Goodbye, paradise. Most beautiful place in the world. Yeah, well, it's three o'clock now, so we spent like five hours inside the Manuel Antonio National Park. And we could spot a lot of wildlife as well. Yeah, it was like a super successful visit. Oh, wow, look, there's a monkey just there. <laughs> no way. There's so much wildlife in like such a small space that is just incredible. You can't ask for more, hey? No wonder Forbes put it on the list of the 12 most beautiful national parks in the world because that's like, it's just a paradise, especially with those beaches as well. Oh my God. You know, when we came to Costa Rica, I was hoping that we could see just like this explosion, this abundance of wildlife and well, Manuel Antonio absolutely delivered. That was just a mind blowing amount of wildlife around. That was beautiful. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We are pushing sunset now. It's a bit tight for time because it's three o'clock now. Sunset's in two hours and 45 minutes. Yeah. And it's supposed to be like three hours and 15 minutes to San Jose. Yes. 105 miles. We have arranged with the lady from Facebook Marketplace to pick up our GoPro today. So actually the guy from the 360 camera, he uh, just deleted the post and this uh, GoPro was gone. So we contacted another girl and she has the GoPro 8 and uh, it's a little bit cheaper as well so we said yes let's buy this one since we don't do a lot of 360 videos anymore the gopro 360 was actually released in the same year as the gopro hero 8 so in theory we should kind of retain the same video quality with the 8 it should be like almost the same plus we couldn't afford uh, to get a better one <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. so i think it's costing 130 pounds yeah 130 pounds yeah yeah, which is not too bad considering that the newest GoPro is retailing at nearly 500 pounds. Yeah. So, you know, a couple of models back, hopefully it'll be good enough quality. We also haven't really had anything proper to eat, to be honest, because we had some crackers and cookies before we get, went in the park. And then we just had some crackers and cookies when we got out the park because all the food here in Manuel Antonio is way too expensive for us. Yeah, unfortunately. So we are gonna just see what we can find on the way to San Jose. Yeah. But yeah, we have a long way to go and it's very likely that we'll be arriving there in the dark. At least it's cooler in the dark. <laughs> it's true. So we were trying to find somewhere that we could stop and have like a late, late, late lunch on our way to San Jose. But after looking online, looking at some of the prices, wow. We stopped at the supermarket, got a loaf of bread, got some slices of cheese and combined that with some beautiful Marmite and you've got yourself a lovely sandwich. I think we have a good chance of surviving like that for a long time. Hey, when you have Marmite, you're not just surviving, you're thriving. So it's already five o'clock. Uh, we just rooted ourselves to a possible Airbnb in San Jose. Um, and it's still going to be another hour and a half before we get there. And uh, sunset is in 45 minutes. So unfortunately, today looks like a day that we will definitely be riding in the dark. They say sunset is at 5.45. <laughs> yeah, because we've uh, gone back an hour from Panama to Costa Rica. So 5.45. It's really early. crazy. It's really early. Too early for my liking. But after like five hours walking in the national park, I'm already pretty tired, so by the time we get there, 
I think I'm going to sleep really, yeah. really, really well. <laughs> I think so too. Anyway, 57 miles to ride. Let's do it. Later that same evening. So we decided to abandon San Jose for today. Yeah, because actually the lady with the GoPro, she never uh, replied to my message. So we didn't want to uh, drive there like in the dark and then arriving there and she's not uh, available. <laughs> yeah, and we've got really no reason to go into San Jose um, other than picking up that GoPro. So I don't know if we hear from her tomorrow, we'll, we'll swing by and go in tomorrow. Yeah, otherwise I checked on iOverlander and apparently here are some cabins for 10,000 which is about um, 15 pounds. So this town is called Orotina and we are about 35 miles out of San Jose. The place where we are trying to stay is called Cabinas Beracel. <laughs> There's cabins, I can see a yeah, sign. Yeah, cabins, yeah. Cabinas. Yeah, this okay. place. Yep, all right, let's try it. Cabinas. Oh yeah, look at this. Yeah, is it open? I don't know. Let's have a look. Yeah, I mean, there's somebody. Oh, there's a fellow. <laughs> yes. Hola. Hola, buenas. Abierto? Si. Sí. Sí? Sí. Perfecto. Mi hablo español no bueno. <laughs> <laughs> no, pero se entiende. <laughs> Do you speak English? Hablo inglés? No. <laughs> Nada. ¿Cuánto cuesta para un noche? 12.000. Let's say uh, 12. 12? 12. I think it's all right now. Okay, gracias. Seis or ocho? Okay. Okay. Okay, seis. Okay. Number six. That's nice. See a look. We can park the bike directly in front of us. Look at that. Amazing. Right in front of the door. Yes. Oh, bueno. <laughs> Have a look in here. Whoa, look at this. Is there a light in here? Oh yeah. Cool. It's like a whole whole shower room there. And the sink is like over there in the shower. Alright. William. Mucho gusto. Mucho William. Ah, English. The price is twelve thousand colones. Colones? Yeah, colones. Which is about 17 pounds. Not too bad. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. Guys, you can't believe it, but here's a tree full of chickens. Look, there's one, there's one. And then you can't see on camera, but there are like, three or four more. I never ever in my life saw chickens in a tree. That's super strange. I've never seen that before either. <laughs> How the hell did they get up there? <laughs> That's amazing. I just said to the owner, oh, the boyo in the arbor. And he was just like, yeah. That's so funny. Look at them.